Hi, my name is Afzal and I'm a software engineer with more than 10 years of industry experience. In this video, I will share five production tips that I have learned over the years with some failures, with some, you know, a real big disasters that will help you to create an awesome application and make it maintainable. So without any delay, let's get started. It is very important to bring the update mechanism from the beginning of the release because once you release a couple of versions and then you implement the soft update or force update, all the previous users, they will not be updated. You cannot control them unless and until you stop the API or do some, you know, uh, nasty trick. There are two main types of updates, force update and soft update. And here we will discuss what they are, how they help publisher keep users updated and their importance in the release process. And you can easily implement this feature by implementing one simple API, which will keep track of the last supported version and the current version. So if your installed application is less than last supported version, then you will get a force update. But if it is more than supported version and less than the current version, then you will get a soft update. As simple as that. Service control. Now this is one of the important point if you're releasing your application with multiple modules. So there may be a time when you want to stop one particular service and not the entire application. So for that, it's a good idea to implement a service check. Whenever a user wants to go to particular module, you can check whether that service is working or not. And if the service is not working, you can show a nice message that the service is down for a certain period and it will be available at this point of time, which will really help your user to understand. And they will not be frustrated with the error messages and failures and error transaction. And generally, this kind of implementation is essential for finance application, service-based application where you have a lot of service inside a single application. If you're looking to turn your app idea into reality, I can help you with that. I offer professional mobile app development services on Fiverr. Whether you need a brand new app or you want to improve an existing one, I'm here to bring your vision to life. And don't just take my words for it. Here are some testimonials from my satisfied clients who have experienced the magic of Flutter development. So if you're ready to take your mobile app to the next level, check out my Fiverr gig. Click the link in the description to get it started and let's build something amazing together. Let's move to the next topic. Announcements. Announcing new feature or service on the home screen of the mobile application can be an effective way to engage user and ensure they are aware of the latest updates. So let's say that you have a new feature inside your application and you want to communicate it to the user. So whenever the user logs in on the home screen, you can show a nice pop-up dialog with images and all to communicate what is the new feature, how it is used and keep it simple. And remember that it appears when the user logs in successfully or completes a particular task. Don't interrupt the user flow and you know show the pop-up in between. So make sure the timing is perfect. Analytics and Crashlytics. Utilizing mobile analytics and Crashlytics is essential for understanding user behavior, identifying issues, and improving the overall performance of your application. Analytics provide insights into how users interact with your application, revealing patterns and trends that can inform your development decisions. On the other hand, Crashlytics helps you quickly identify and fix crashes, ensuring your app runs smoothly. And to use Crashlytics and Analytics feature, you have to create a Firebase project, use the Firebase packages inside your Flutter application and do the registration and then you can log all the information. And if you want to check out how to create a Firebase project and set up inside your Flutter application, you can go ahead and check this video. In this series, I have explained how to perform CRUD operation on a Firebase database and read write your data. Image optimization. Best practices for using asset images inside your mobile application. Incorporating images, icons, and SVGs correctly in your mobile application is crucial for both performance and design consistency. Here are some best practices to follow. Use vector-based icons such as SVGs. You can even turn your SVG in the form of icon on fluttericons.com and use that inside your Flutter application. This will reduce the size of the application significantly and even the Flutter tool can do tree shaking. So whatever icons you have not used, it will not include in the final bundle. 
You can even use the SVGs directly inside your Flutter application and SVGs have a vector path so it is scalable. You can scale as much as you want. You can change the color at runtime. So it's very flexible at the same time it utilizes very less space. So make use of SVGs instead of using heavy PNG images. And make sure to compress the image files without compromising quality to improve load times and reduce the data usage. Because several times it happens that your designer gives you the image which is in MBs. So you have to compress it before using inside mobile application. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you're thinking why you should learn Flutter in 2024, go ahead and check out this video. And if you want to know the secrets how to earn money with your knowledge of Flutter, make sure to check out this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one.